Hey everybody, it's Darcy and I'm the Bad Artist from London, Ontario. This is my first ever frog painting. It's for um, Lynn. She's a subscriber and uh, asked for a request for a frog. So we're going to try that. I also have a brand new fancy schmancy opening you're going to see in a couple seconds that I'm going to try and there's more trivia. Hope you have a good day. Thanks for tuning in. Please like and subscribe and here we go. I'm pretty excited. So today's trivia question is up in the upper right corner. You can uh, hover over that and click on it and enter your answer and I'll give you the correct response at the end. Uh, these tree frogs, in, in this case I focused on the red-eyed tree frog, are um, have actually been around since before the dinosaurs, which is kind of neat. So they have been around a long time. As far as extinction rates go, they are not on the uh, extinction list or even threatened at this point because there are so many. So that's good. It's always nice to read. They have really adapted the, to their surroundings. They are very, very, very skinny frogs. Um, very lightweight, thin boned. And the reason sort of makes sense, but because they live in the trees on leaves all the time, they can't be that heavy um, or else they just keep falling off the tree. Uh, but that's part of evolution, so they are a very light little animal. They have exceptional camouflage skills, and one of the neat things they do to hide and when they sleep is they'll tuck their uh, orange little feet uh, and their, underneath them they'll pull their green legs up cover up the blue sides of their uh, belly. You can see me painting that there. And then they'll close their eyes. So essentially they just look like a green little lump. And one of the things they do to distract predators is if they fear one is coming up close, they will pop open their eyes all of a sudden, hopefully uh, surprise the person or the predator, and then uh, that'll give them a second to uh, hop away. Uh, they have a very neat... Um, when they lay eggs, they have to have their home, their little nest, um, above a source of water, like a pond or something down below. Because what happens is they um, have a little um, hatch of eggs, or tadpoles, as we all know. Uh, tadpoles were kind of familiar in, well, in my area in Canada, that they sort of lay these eggs in water, and then the eggs hatch in water. Well, actually, what happens with these tree frogs is they lay these batches of eggs up to about 50 on leaves and then over a six to ten day period the tadpoles form inside the eggs and eventually the tadpoles have to drop off out of the leaves and fall into a water source below and then they grow as tadpoles and eventually into frogs so the the parents actually know that uh, in the event that for example they fall onto uh, dirt or ground below and there's not a water source of course they eventually would die but it's just really quite fascinating how they know that they have to have their eggs above a certain distance above a source of water in order to um, hatch them. They are uh, kept as pets um, They there's nothing um, terribly harmful to humans there are um, this kind of goes towards the trivial question. There are certain frogs and toads out there which have certain secretions on their skin. Um, one of them being um, poison, and which would be fatal to smaller animals. And the other would be um, if you take the, the secretions off these animals, these toads and frogs, and dry them out, you can actually smoke it and get high. So um, there's a fable out there that you can actually go around licking toads to get high and um, really it's almost like you're licking a poison. There might be some sort of hallucinatory effect but um, <laughs> not really suggested. Anyway, there's the final result and I just did a Photoshop on a log. I thought it looked pretty neat. Actually, I was pretty impressed with myself for a change. Um, please like and subscribe and hope you have a great day. Looking forward to suggestions. And thanks again for your support. Take care.